There you go. He goes along and takes it still, <laughs> oh, so you got nice. that if you need it. Yeah, love it. Keeps love the it. bugs out of the house. Well, Claude Akins, when are you coming to Fort Worth and play our colonial well, course? I was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is take two. Claude Akins, take so yes. And speed. Claude Akins, we keep waiting for you to come and play Colonial in Fort Worth. Well, I, I'll get there just as soon as I get the crime cleaned out of Orley County. <laughs> okay. It may take a while. <laughs> Sheriff Lobo. Yes, isn't that marvelous? The Misadventures of Sheriff Lobo. Yes. So hopefully the title is indicative of the fact that we're going to make a comedy. Sometimes you have to say that up front so that people understand it's funny. But now I think... From the scripts that I've heard that we're doing and all, I think we're going to have a truly funny show. I'm looking forward to it because I started out my career in summer stock doing comedy. And I played a lot of heavies and I got killed by a lot of people and killed a lot of people. Then I went straight when I did Moving On and now we've come full circle. I get to do a comedy again. What about BJ and the Bear? Are you still going to do no, that? No, he's going to drive his truck off someplace else if he can get the fuel for it. and. Uh, We'll be on our own. We'll probably run into him at a sheriff's convention in Las Vegas. There's plans for a show that will combine the two then, but we will mostly be separate. The, uh, uh, your father was a, a sheriff. Was a police officer. Yeah. Police officer, Absolutely. okay, but in law enforcement. Oh, yes, yeah. Is there anything at all of your father in the characterization of Sheriff Lobo? I think there is. Uh, my father was a very good police officer and a was my idol but he was also a little bit of a con man and uh, in Sheriff Lobo there is just a touch of larceny in the heart and the shows will sort of evolve around how much can he get away with I mean you you got a sheriff that drives a Cadillac Seville for a squad car it's got to be indicative of uh, which way we're going you think sheriffs around the country are going to like it or resent it? I think they're going to like it. I presented some awards at California Highway Patrol recently for Officer of the Year Awards up in Sacramento. And uh, I said at the opening speech, I said it's amazing how what happens to you when you drive a truck, you know, the places you get invited to. And then I said it's even more amazing when you play a crooked sheriff. And uh, they all seem to understand that it's tongue-in-cheek. But there will be somebody along the way, Claude, that will take offense to it. Are you prepared to handle oh, that? Oh, I think so, yeah. The, the reason that I now have an unlisted phone number at my home is because when we were on the road with Moving On, truckers kept calling, because I was in the phone book for all the years, truckers kept calling like at 2.30 in the morning saying, I won't talk to Sonny. And my wife would say, well, he's not here. Well, he said, listen, they, I got to tell him about that truck and what he, the things, and, and you know, and finally she said, well, he's on, a, one of them found me in San Diego at 3.30 in the morning one time to tell me that we should have had a different gear change when we went up a hill, you know. So people will find the things, but I have always said any criticism is better than no criticism at all, because at least it means they're watching the show. You bet, <laughs> you bet. Is it true that you actually started your career as a youngster, as a singing robin? It was a, talk, a part of a talking robin in a church play when I was five years old. That's how it all began. I tell you, I heard that applause, and I have been waiting for it all my life and working for it. That's probably what started the whole thing. My mother said it's because I was just a show-off. I don't like to think that's true. I like to think it's because I'm an actor. Who wants to hear the applause? <laughs> <laughs> well, what does the talking robin say? I don't know. I don't remember the script on that. I don't remember the lines, but I remember it was a church play, and I remember I was very proud because I got picked and I got to, to do the part of a talking robin. Claude, supposing you hadn't been fortunate enough to carry on, because we, are, we both know actors who are good but yeah. never really have had yeah. a chance to make it, what do you think you might have done? I, I really don't know, and I shudder to contemplate that this is such a part of my life, and I have been so fortunate that I have made a good living doing what I enjoy. And actually, though I would 
not want the word to get around. I would pay them to do what I'm doing, but I, of course, don't want them to know that. But I don't know what else I would do. I'm possibly something in sales or rob banks or I don't know, you know. Maybe be a, on the golf circuit or... Well, no, I have no talent for that. I have a love for golf, but I'm not a very good golfer. Oh, come I on. I, don't, I hear differently. Well, what is your handicap? It's a 10, but that's... <clears throat> that's not what I would like it to be, you know. But I think I'm, I'm lucky that I fit in the slots. No matter what's in Jenner, I could work like when the Westerns were in. Everybody's doing, well, I could be a cowboy. When cops and robbers were in, I could be the cops or the robbers. And I think that's how I've survived, that I've managed to fit into whatever is going at the moment. <clears throat> I don't know if semi-crooked sheriffs are going at the moment or not, but... <laughs> Maybe we'll start a trend. Well, we'll have a chance to find out yes. this fall. Claude, as always, it's Thank just you. delightful to talk well, with you. Well, it's nice to talk to you again. And I hope all the Texans watch and enjoy Sheriff Lobo as much as we're going to enjoy doing them. Cut.